past year, we brought you several stories about prescription drug abuse and the fatal consequences that can follow. Tonight, we bring you the story of one woman who's working to turn her life around after doing time in jail for armed robbery. But her troubles begin well before that. Kristen Dowling was not only addicted to painkillers, but also a well-known drug dealer in her Nova Scotia town. What was Natasha Pace has her exclusive story tonight. Kristen Dowling may look like any other 29-year-old woman, but looks can be deceiving. Dowling is currently on parole from jail after robbing more than $50,000 worth of drugs from a pharmacy last year. It's my first time clean in 15 years. It's this is the most weight I've ever had on. Like, I just feel great. So it feels awesome to be clean um, and away from that life. Dowling battled drug addiction since she was 14. She became addicted to Dilaudid six years ago after her doctor prescribed the pills. Without the pill, you couldn't do nothing. I couldn't get out of bed. I couldn't watch my kids. Like, it was just... Sick. Pill sick. Dowling says her doctor wasn't as careful as he could have been, prescribing her pain medication whenever she asked for it. If I wasn't legally prescribed them, I probably wouldn't have been on them as bad as I was, and I probably would have been able to get off them easier. But Dowling wasn't just using the pills herself, she was also selling them. She told me she had enough pills that she could abuse them constantly and still had enough to sell on the street. She fully admits that um, she was a dealer as well as a user. Amy Graves became a crusader against prescription drug abuse after her brother Josh died from an overdose of alcohol and drugs in 2011. Graves' brother died from just 11 milligrams of Dilaudid, or one-third of a pill. At the height of her drug abuse, Dowling was doing up to 10 times more than that each day. She hit rock bottom last year when she was arrested for armed robbery. Jail didn't save my life. Graves says she's proud of Dowling for turning her life around and hopes others can get the help they need. Kristen has been held accountable for her actions. She paid her dues. I think some other people need some accountability in her situation, such as the doctor who was prescribing her for all these years. I'm learning how to function on a daily basis without pills. I'm enjoying my children without being under the influence of something. Dowling has just completed an adult learning program and plans to pursue a career in addictions counseling. Natasha Pace, Global News, Dartmouth.